Uh, there is this video game called Stellar Blade, and this is my understanding of this. Stellar Blade is a Korean action RPG, or as Mark Kern puts it, this is Grums, a phenomenal new game. So what they wanted to do was to really stick it to those woke SJWs in the West. So they took a real woman who is a uh, plastic surgery creation um, and Korean model, and they digitized this woman into the game. And they did this so that nobody could complain that the portions of this person are unrealistic, uh, even though she is surgically altered to look as she does. Um, so then they decided uh, to put her in, like, the skimpiest outfits possible, and then she just does cartwheel shooting or some shit. I don't know. I, don't, I really don't know how the fucking game works. I just know that there's an out, skimpy outfits uh, with cleavage. And they, uh, the developers of the game stated confidently that when this game is ported into the, the U.S. and into the Western markets, it will not be changed. It will not be censored. There will be the same uh, curves, character, uh, costume, and so on, and gore as, as in Korea. Uh, it was released. Uh, I believe it's not out on PC yet. It was released to PlayStation. In the first day after the game came out, um, they did a day one patch and the day one patch uh, removed a lot of the gore and changed some of the costumes. Uh, so Mark Kern or Grums decided to post a petition saying hashtag free stellar blade. Now, as all gaming controversy goes, uh, this has enraged the sit-on-your-ass, watch-anime, goon, 24-7, and play-video-game demographic. Uh, such, such as these people. Um, these people left their top supporting voices. So if you want a physio physiognomy check on what a person looks like who signs this fucking petition to get Korean tits back into the model, the costumes for this character, uh, let's take a look. Because it doesn't appeal, because it appeals to the male gaze. They really need to stop using that. Sony, you need to make shift up cook. And you need to give shift up the premise to be able to make everything uncensored again. I really do hope this petition goes through. I hope it succeeds so we can win this game. Let's keep fighting the good fight and push until we won. Our voices will be heard. Please shift up. Please. Please uncensor still our blade. Games would be fun that way. Oh boy. I personally enjoy like the 15 seconds of just fucking around with the mic at the end of the video. That's pretty good. Hi, I'm Jeffrey, and I think this petition needs to come through to have. A tree, all of the creators who worked on this to have their vision fully restored, and that's why this is it. And this is why it's important to everyone. That's that's pretty inspiring. That's that I'm, I'm inspired. I agree with him now. What's happening right now? is censorship on a stupid, stupid, stupid level. You know, in Baldur's Gate 3, you can have bear sex and freaking naked people, but God forbid Eve from Stellar Blade has a little bit of skin showing in her suit. Why can't we appreciate the art that Shift Up works so hard to implement into their game? This guy was very confident in his message, so much so he did it a second time. And look, with Stellar Blade, it's not just it's not just the skin being being covered. It's not just that. It's the kills, it's the gore. There's probably more censorship that we don't even know about yet, which is unfortunate. I mean, I don't understand. It's an M-rated game. We're all adults here. Why can't we just be adults and enjoy something that the ESRB has already deemed okay for us to consume? I mean, that guy's the most eloquent of these so far. I want to see what this guy has to say, though. These are pretty good. Hi, my name is Jonathan. I would wish... That was not the voice I was expecting to come out of this guy. The video games go back to the used to back when I was a kid. No censorship. I hate censorship in general. They're trying to ruin everything. Thank you. Support this. 
Nice, concise. That's the perfect video right there. 10 seconds. Fuck censorship. Support this. Goodbye. My name's Jonathan. Excellent. Um, so whenever I... Uh, I made a, a Z, which I will not read in full, but I will reiterate the point of at some point. Whenever I get, like, an angry anime avatar talking to me, this is the face that I imagine. It's like these people. Like, uh, what do you mean? This is the censorship. Fuck you, die. Abby from The Last of Us, cyberpunk, Baldur's Gate. Full frontal nudity. Full jiggle physics. Full hardcore sex scenes. Not an ounce of it censored. Stellar Blade, 17 costumes. 17 were censored and added mesh to different areas so that they didn't show too much ass. Blood was also heavily censored. We got baited and switched out. We got lied to. It's false advertisement. Remember, 17 costumes. Fight for it and let's win this. I am curious. Um, I see, okay. That's what I was thinking. I'll, I will re actually respond to one, that thought in a second. Censorship sucks things. in all of its forms. So developers, don't let Sony push you around. Developers. Demand that the game you developed and would like released gets released with none of the changes that Sony wants in there for whatever arbitrary reasons they would like them. So again, Abby getting railed in Last of Us 2, good. <laughs> Not the word I would use for it. <laughs> Asian character in a game with too much cleavage? Ooh, can't have that. What's good, y'all? This is your boy. Bro, why are you wearing a mask? You're inside your own house. You can take, bro, take that mask off. Bro, what are you doing? Are you trying to represent the bloods? Boy, we'll too humble here. Man, how about y'all take the censorship off? Man, it is freaking ridiculous, man. Let the people play the game that they spent 70 to to $100 on. I just don't get the fact that you sit here and you've done something because it's getting so much attraction. Like, let the gamers be gamers. Man, like, get that out of here. We'll tumble out. Oh, fucking me to myself. <laughs> uh, I, I appreciate the brother. That was the best. Hello, my name is Michael Lyon, and I bought a PS5 because I wanted to play Stellar Blade. I was promised that this game would be no censorship, unedited, unraw, just a, just a great, amazing, even a game of the year contender. I think that it's not fair. It was it was a game of the year contender. Oh my god, I can't wait to show you the costume changes. It, like, if you have no idea what the fuck is going on, you would think that they removed like a core element from the game that like just completely fucking ruins it. And okay that Sony has decided to censor the game, especially right at the release date. I think that's false advertising. I think that's not fair to the developer shift up. Okay. Um, so this position and these strong voices calling in unity for an anti-censorship practice uh, resulted in Tone Man calling for a $20,000 bounty. Wait, no, we're talking about anime shit. What's the, um, I remember there was a, did it, was it double dollar in Trigun? That was the bounty? It's a, it's a 10000 double dollar bounty on Grums' head. The first person to make this menace to all classy, modest gamers disappear uh, would be able to receive that cash reward. And then another streamer even followed this up and said that they would add their own $5,000 double dollar bounty on top of the $10,000 if Grums were to, to vanish. Uh, so, obviously the stakes are very high. Let's see what the damage was. Warning, avert your gaze if you are if you are a modest gamer. Uh, so, before, um, it's just sort of like, I don't know how to describe it, because these clothing are, are like, so, so impossible that they are like their own fictitious thing. So it's like, it's like a leotard, but it's also very loose fitting. It wouldn't make sense, because it would just, the boobs would just fall out. Um, but then they had like a little window. And they also decided to make this 
like right up like to the point where it's kind of like like a reverse wedgie she uh the most uncomfortable looking thing that has ever fucking existed where did that even come from the most uncomfortable looking thing that could ever possibly be worn um let's see check this one there are 17 costumes modified in total Oh, they also, um, they took out this graffiti that says hard next to the R shop. So it looks like hard R. Um, Koreans have said that this is just an accident because uh, there is no concept of the N-word in Korea. It's not offensive there, and nobody would think to sneak that into the game. Uh, but gamers immediately noticed the hard R graffiti, so they uh, took that out for the American release. That's too offensive. Let's see. Um, this one is just like BDSM ties. And then they add a little bit of boob window. And that's it. Uh, similarly, this is the same thing as before. They add like a boob window cloth and then they make it not ride like a reverse wedgie. I mean, I can understand the costume change because it's like that just looks uncomfortable. <laughs> that's not like titillating. It's just like, wow. Um your your vagina is going to fucking have red burns <laughs> if, you, if you try to like walk around in public with that shit on you you're going to be in physical pain um as a result of the uh the way that your underwear like rides on you i am once again running out of disk space i've been notified by uh my computer okay um can i real quick actually i don't know how much space i have on this I have 8 gigabytes. Can I move my last stream onto this and call it a day? I can. Okay, I'll do that. And then I can delete them and have two more gigabytes. Ah, damn, I'm clever. Okay, uh, then... That's it. They were, said they removed some gore. The main controversy, I think, was that the developers explicitly said on Twitter, the Korean guys that actually developed the game, that there would be no uh, localization to make the costumes more modest, and they clearly did something with the costumes, which I, I don't, I really like, especially with this one. Like, what the fuck is the point of the boob window thing? Like, that just doesn't even make any sense. Um, there is zero modesty preserved, um, and I think that my guess is, if I had to guess, why Sony touched this and they did not touch uh, Baldur's Gate or what was the other one they were citing? Oh, The Last of Us. Is I'm pretty sure both of those games are made by Western developers. Larian Studios, which made Baldur's Gate, is apparently Belgian. And Naughty Dog, you know that off the top of my head, is American. So uh, you have an American studio and you have a Belgian studio putting out games that have mature content. And then you have a Korean game. So my, my only thought is that, that Sony Trust these other developers to know what would float for a Western audience. And Sony doesn't trust the Koreans to know what would float for a Western audience. And they, since they're Japanese, they probably just have this thing where it's like Americans like ugly characters and they don't like boobs. <laughs> Cause according to the Capcom memos, that's just what they think about Americans. Like uh, we probably should patch that. So now they're trying to get them to reverse on it. And my, th I made a, a post because I said I didn't care about this, and that re re um, instigated a bunch of anime avatars into complaining uh, for three reasons, which I will sum up. Um, and when I say complaining, I mean violently threatening me. Let's actually re read those first, and then I'll explain. Um, I mentioned uh, citing as a, uh, a point of when localization makes a change that probably isn't that controversial. Um, there was an old Korean MMO called Terra, and there was a race called the Ellen. The Ellen are literally just little girls. They are eight-year-old girls, and in the original MMORPG from Korea, you can buy, like, string bikinis and thongs to put these eight-year-old girls in. And in the U.S., they made them um, less sexual because they're, like, obviously supposed to be children. And uh, this is the kind of response I got for that. Handsome Mark says, localization apologist up against the wall, you should go. And then he says, fingernails removed first for daring to use Ellen censorship as a good case of localization. Mizal says, 
Words, words, words. Just say you're pro-censorship when it agrees with you. I don't need a text dump from a leftist to understand your stupid ideas. Uh, Daka Daka said, I'm pro-censorship of creepy Japanese pedo shit in video games. Mizao replies to him directly and says, Then don't play Japanese games, Normie. Lolly has been a staple of Japanese games and media in general. You're the same kind of person that goes to an Indian restaurant and complains it's too spicy. The moment you allow someone to tell you what you can and can't do, you get 2024. Um, so I actually fully agree with Mizao that Japanese culture is inherently pedophilic and everything they put out is insanely fucking creepy. And if you're not into pedophile shit, you should just not watch any anime or play any JRPGs or anything like that. Um, I disagree with his assertion that you should just be a pedophile and watch this shit anyways. Um, so I think we're on, we're, we, we agree for, but for different reasons. Matt Faggot, who has a Konata avatar, um, which if you don't know is the Lucky Star character that's supposed to be canonically 17, but she looks like a 12-year-old, says, uh, quote, paraphrasing me, Sony made the change voluntarily, not through, actually, no, this was a direct quote. Sony made the change voluntarily, not through force of government. Yeah, and Hurricane dropped you voluntarily too, not through the force of government. The difference is, is that you can still get this game, you can still mod it, you can do whatever the fuck you want with it. Like, I'm pro, I'm pro modding anti, you know, like anti, anti-repair stuff. Um, and there's not really any way to get around Hurricane. Like, if Hurricane blocked people from downloading this game because they didn't like the boob windows, uh, chances are you would probably find that a little bit more egregious than if Sony just made this change that you disagree with on their own. Uh, and to be clear, this was a voluntary change by Sony. This was not like, you have to make this change or you can't sell this game in the United States. It was something that they opted to do of their own free will, um, which was one of my points. It's that this was localization. This was not censorship in the category that I particularly care about. Uh, this other person also replied and says, you are being dis, this guy cute and funny says you can, you are being disingenuous. You can find it extremely difficult to care, but it is censorship. Nonetheless, telling people that you shouldn't complain, just waste money on lawsuits. Sounds like an excuse for people to shut up. Sorry. If, uh, if I'm wrong, I know nothing about you. Um, and then he replies saying, quote, game footage is not final graphics and features subject to change. And there goes your lawsuit out the window. Uh, and he, of course, is just a pedophile. <laughs> but uh, oddly, the pedophile brings up the most interesting point. Can you sue this game? And that's what I said. I said, uh, everybody signing this petition is very likely someone who remembers Gamergate, who is old enough to remember Gamergate from 10 fucking years ago. And if you're old enough to remember Gamer Gamergate, you are old enough to remember that everything that Gamergate tried to do failed miserably. Um, except maybe shutting down Kotaku, uh, but that's hardly a fucking accomplishment. So my point was, since I I don't care about the, the, the costume change, because... It's just Sony doing what they what they think will sell the most games, sell the most units. Um, and I don't understand the change, but it's theirs to make, arguably. Um, so my, my point to them was that if you want to actually get Sony to care about your, your fucking feelings, you have to sue them. You have to sue them for false advertising. So the pedophile quotes the, um, the demo page on Steam saying that the demo is not a representation of the final game and uh, graphics and features may change. So there goes your lawsuit. That's not how it works. Um, if I say or put like a disclaimer on my screen that um, watching my stream means that you agree with everything I say and you can't sue me for anything I say, uh, that wouldn't fly. That's obviously preposterous. And similarly, while certain things are... Um, reasonable to exclude number one you can sue for anything you want the disclaimer doesn't mean you can't sue it just means that it might be dismissed they might win uh, which if you're just trying to damage the company doesn't matter you don't have to win a lawsuit to win a lawsuit if you find a mid-level um, uh, attorney willing to work for for cheap and you guys pitch in you know you had 50,000 people sign if 50,000 people donate um, ten dollars you know that's half a million dollars and that's a that's a fucking lawsuit if a quarter of that donate a hundred dollars or whatever that's your lawsuit and we consider what kind of attorney sony's going to hire sony's going to hire a proper firm that charges two thousand dollars an hour and that 
you know, $150,000 that you raise is going to be several million dollars that cost Sony more money than um, they would lose if they just modified the game to your liking. Further, this might be a, a change that is implemented for um, only so only PlayStation because you know PlayStation has like a different audience. So they might say, "Well, we, we want to push this on PlayStation and not the PC audience." Um, but that's not explained. Anyways, the second point: the disclaimer itself that the demo doesn't reflect the final product doesn't matter, especially when the developers are putting out statements that contradict that the developers are putting out statements that say the demo is going to reflect the final product. So if the demo doesn't reflect the final product and you have two conflicting statements, one of them is a footer on a, um, the demo page. And one of them is the developers themselves saying that, no, this specific thing will not change. Uh, that sounds like a great argument that you were falsely advertised to. So that would be something that, a judge would have to look at and decide, perhaps even a jury, because it's a question of uh, fact and not of law. Um, but that would only be decided in court. If you're just whining on social media, you're not going to accomplish anything. And people coping and seeing that um, getting 50,000 people to sign a petition is going to, to persuade them to change, you're, you're fucking nuts. They don't care. Sony does not care about your feelings. Sony is a massive international media conglomerate with billions and billions of dollars. The only thing that Sony cares about is um, delivering profitable uh, quarterly reports to their stockholders. They do not give a fuck about you. And the only way to make them give a fuck about you is to sue them. And when you have tens of thousands of people who are willing to uh, be this emotionally charged into a controversy, they should have $10 each to put together for a crowdfund. All you have to do is get someone like Rums to find an attorney willing to do this lawsuit who can give you a roundabout estimate of how much money he would want uh, to begin the lawsuit. You can then crowdfund that very easily. And by the way, the part of doing a class action lawsuit is actually extremely profitable because uh, when a class action lawsuit pays out, the first people to get paid are the attorneys. So if Sony has to pay out however many millions of dollars for pre-orders that um, the judge found is owed for their, their false advertising, the, um, the first person to get a cut of that money is going to be the attorney who represents the class. That's how it works. That's why they do it. That's why they're so profitable. Uh, you th they don't do it so that you get that email saying, hey, you're owed $20 by Sony for their false advertising settlement. It's so that they get paid <laughs> millions of dollars for winning. Um, so the people like saying, oh, just file a lawsuit. That doesn't, doesn't work. And it, it can't work because Sony just so immaculately uh, um, indemnify themselves from any liabilities with their cheeky little footer. You're fucking retarded. Um, and you're retarded at best. And you're just lazy and apathetic and, and too stupid to stand up and actually make things happen in the real world. When you're this fucking guy, you look like this, you sound like this. You talk like this, and then you just go online, and you're like, blah, 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 Hi, I'm Korean Jetties, Korean going, I, I want to go, me goon, lolly con goon, me gooner. Like, oh. shut up. <laughs> no, nobody cares about these guys. Nobody in the world gives a fuck about any of them. So if you're, if you're one of these guys, you don't factor into people's decision makings in the real world. So sue or shut up. I'm tired of people like thinking that their online petitions are going to mean anything. They don't mean anything. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.